took one look at you, and it was plain to see that you were my destiny, and with my arms open wide, through with my pride, I sacrificed for you, I dedicated my life to you, I will go where you lead, I'll be right there in the time of need. Let me quit. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. As y'all know, I uh, on Patreon um, uploaded the video that I really, really uh, feel about Whoopi and her so called transgressions. But Michelle Collins, y'all know who used to be on The View. She made some really pretty interesting comments. And it started with them talking about, I'm starting to really feel proud, glad and grateful to be a part of people who are certainly recognizing all of our collective mental health issues, right? And that we have learned some of these behaviors in a narcissistic society where it's pretty much trained into you. And unless you really get quiet and go somewhere where you begin to understand the gaslighting, when you begin to understand the projection for real, for real, when you begin to understand the splitting. All these things that a person a person with personality disorder does to somebody, you'll begin to see us collectively better as a nation. And I think that's kind of like what Michelle Collins was talking about. Um, because like I said, I got my own feelings about who the lost tribes of Israel is. Okay, so we're not even going to get into that. Um, I just know that who suffered in this wilderness for 400 years. I ain't seen nobody that suffered like that, except people that look like me. So I'll just leave that, that, but to talk about the nurse, the, the personality, the mental illness, the psychosis of the, 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 the people that live in this, these United States of America, how they can't help to have these disorders because we've been trained in it. Okay, and the white folks, oh my God, they're the special child. I mean, this is like a mobile, you guys. You could just look at it and see it. Anyway, what Michelle talks about is that she was saying how, you know, this whole thing with Whoopi Goldberg, and then she said what she's noticed was real strong coming into past. Now, this day and age is that we don't learn anymore. Uh... We don't accept apologies anymore. We just cut the cord. Um, we cancel. We're done. It's like, just get rid of this person. She said, "It's there's no forgiveness. And in fact, it's very cruel, really. It is. It's splitting. That's part of a personality disorder. When you just split, when you just bam. You no, know, I can see if the person is trying to hurt you. Okay, that's definitely. But... This woman was not trying to hurt anybody or disparage anybody in her thought process. She was just saying what she always thought. It was an opinion. It was an opinion. So the sad thing is, I don't know if Whoopi is really upset as bad as they, they said because she's let go for two weeks um, on the suspension. But most people say, I know that Whoopi's not an anti-Semite. She is someone who really appreciates other cultures and really learns from them. And she genuinely likes people. And she's sincere. And when people stand up for you like that, that means a lot. Because anybody that knows the soul of Whoopi probably knows that about her. And so 
she not that she's taking this lightly, but it is in a sense got to be like, you know, I, I apologize. I have to let this roll off me now like water off a duck's ass. Because there are people in this lifetime that want to torture you. There are people in this lifetime that have personality disorders. And they don't see how sick they are. They just see how sick you are. And they just see they want to counsel you. Or like they did Dave Chappelle. Oh, I don't like you. You're done. And that's how, not how any of this is supposed to work. It's not. So Whoopi is taking some time. I know to think about what she want to do in this two weeks. Because... Well, I don't know. That's just my 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 imagination is she could probably do ten times better doing her own production on her and on her own terms, free of anything like this. It's just a matter of what you want to put your time into. And when you get older, you know, you brought in that old in that old mindset where somebody's gonna give you a check or whatever else and you gotta deal with that and you're okay with that. Cause you can expect that big thing. And then you get older, you get more settled. But I know one thing. She's not a malicious person. And nobody thinks that she is. Whoever is trying to make her appear to be malicious is probably evil and malicious their own self. And that's a true fact. Okay. So the Jewish community uh are, they said everybody try to extract hate, but um, they don't think she's an evil person. And most of the Jewish community stand with Whoopi. So I don't know why this is a problem. Anyways, what y'all think about that? What y'all think about Whoopi's suspension? What do you think about that? Most people don't have the courage to talk about anything when it comes to the muse and their relationship with the rest of the society like they some kind of special group. <sighs> I told you I saw some black women with some robes on with the Star of David on there. And they got a religion. And I'm asking, and I'm looking at these black women. I'm going, why do y'all got those robes on there? And you know what this person told me? Because God wants us to worship Israel. God wants us, and because she read it in that Bible, and she can tell you, because she can read that Bible. But that Bible told her we should honor and obey Israel. I had nothing to say after that. So anyway, leave your comment and your opinion below. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.